Hey everybody, welcome to Friendly Fitness. I'm Andrew, we're about to do 10 minutes of core. Just getting right into it. Each piece is only gonna be 30 seconds long, with a certain exception. So yeah, let's just pretend I didn't say that. But don't worry, we're doing a few um, repeated exercises. So if the first time you do it, you're like, oh man, I was just getting the hang of that, and then it's over, don't worry, it's coming back with a vengeance. So stick around, let's have a good time. 10 minutes long, bunch of 30 second pieces, a few minute long pieces, Whatever, let's get into this. The first exercise is gonna be the dead book. So I'm not starting the timer yet, but my starting position is gonna be lying on my back with my lower back pressed into the floor. My hands and my knees are all pointed up at the ceiling. And then from here, right arm, opposite leg go down, back to the middle, and then the other side. We're gonna be doing this one for just 30 seconds, and you can limit the range of motion as much as you want, but we gotta start somewhere, and I think we're starting in three. Two, one, let's go. All right, we're dead bugging. So, arm opposite leg down, bring it back. Keeping that lower back pressed right into the floor, trying to get that big range of motion in, but we're just doing whatever feels comfortable. So, we only have 12 seconds left. We're about to do a crunch. And at the top of these crunches, I challenge you, to do like a one to two second pause. So here we go in three, two, one. Let's do a crunch. Hup. Pause at the top, Oof. slow on the way down. Boom, I'm really fight at the top. I'm almost trying to make these muscles burn pronto. Ah. So I'm going up and I'm like flexing, trying to hold it and slow on the way back. Oof. We're gonna do that dead bug again soon. If you wanna have the arms out, that's cool, but let's do another 30 seconds of the dead bug in two, one. All right, hands and knees up, arm ops leg down, bring it back. We know this one, we know the deal. Keeping that lower back pressed down, just putting our best effort into this while keeping that good technique. So coming up, I'm not doing a crunch. I'm doing a reverse crunch. So I'm still gonna try to keep my lower back pressed into the floor, but, oh my gosh, it's time. <laughs> so keep that lower back pressed down, knees close to the chest, slow on the way back. So we are trying our best to keep that lower back pressed into the mat as those feet get closer to it. You can have those knees bent the whole time. You can even straighten the legs out at the bottom if you want a little bit of an extra challenge but let's just keep them bent and keep that lower back press down. We're changing things up big time in four seconds. So give me just a few more reps before a side plank. Ah, okay. Let's get into a side plank position. So I'm up, keeping that nice straight line through the body. Let's punch out and then bring it back. Get that fist away, bring it close and try to keep those hips the same height the whole time. Option for this is to put your knee on the floor and perform that punch like so. But whether you're on your toes, not your toes, the side of your foot or your knee, keep those hips level and get ready for a lateral crunch right now. Lying on the floor, I'm gonna go up, try to make these muscles contract, back down, boom. It's not the biggest range of motion in the world, but that pause at the top really makes you feel which ones are getting the job done. So just like we did with the crunch, we can make this as challenging as we want based on that pause. Here comes the other side. Let's go. We're going right into that lateral plank. Getting that fist out, bringing it back. Trying your best to keep those hips as level as possible. That might even mean like flexing some of those core muscles. But for 10 more seconds, let's just keep it up. We're about to do that lateral crunch. Here we go. Two, one, down on the floor. And let's go up, make those muscles work, back down. You can have that arm out, you can have it up to your side, whatever works for you, but give the work to those guys right there. Mm. And let's get that pause in. Okay, so that bonus 
not quite 30 second long thing is coming up soon. Let's go into a high plank right now. Whew. So we're gonna go into this position for a minute. However, every 60, not 60, every 10 seconds, we're gonna walk the hands out a bit and it's been 10 seconds. So I'm walking my hands out just a little bit. We can do this on the knees if we want to, but the further out I walk those hands, the more challenging this is gonna be. 10 more seconds just passed, let's walk them out. See if you can walk them out every 10 seconds. And it's been 10, walking up. If you're on a bit of a slippery mat, you might notice it's like way more challenging all of a sudden. Challenging is fine, but stay safe. Walk them out. I'm only doing that one more time. Here it comes. 10 seconds left. Ooh, this one's gonna be tough. Holding it. We're about to go back into those dead bugs. So let's just do our best for another two, one. All right, let's dead bug for 30 seconds. Good news is that we're more than halfway through. Let's get these dead bugs in. <laughs> Except this time around, my core is pretty tired. So I guess that's a good thing. It means I'm doing some hard work. And I'm just trying not to think about how much time I have left. However, we only have three seconds left in these dead bugs before we do that crunch. All right. So remember that pause at the top. It's tempting to take a big shortcut and not do this pause, but I love that burn and I want more. So let's just do our best. We're gonna go into that dead bug again really soon. Three, two, one. All right, let's dead bug. Whew. This is the last time we're doing this one. Arm opposite leg down. Doing your best, keep that lower back pressed down into the mat. All right, we got that reverse crunch coming up, crumbing up in no time. The reverse crunch crumbing up in no time. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> anyway, we got four seconds. Huh. All right, huh. keeping that lower back press down. Knees close, slow on the way down. Oh. I can feel my lower back wanting to rise up off the mat right now, but I'm trying my best not to let that happen, even though I really want to. Oh. Here we go, seven more seconds. And then we're side planking. All right, let's hit that side plank. Woo. Keeping those hips level, getting that fist away, bringing it back. We're not letting those hips hang out down here. Keep them really, really straight, perfectly in line. From the chest all the way to the ankles. 10 seconds. And then I'm doing that lateral crunch. Three, two, one, Poof. on the floor. All right, let's crunch it. Really squeezing these guys right here. 10 seconds. We got three until that other side plank. Switch sides. We're close, everybody. Here's our side plank, holding it up. Boom, fist away, bringing it back. If you ever want a challenge for this one and you have a very light pair of dumbbells, try it. It's pretty wild stuff. But as you get that fist away, your body's gonna wanna roll forward and use those strong core muscles to not let that happen. We got three seconds until the lateral crunch. Here we go. Whew. All right, last time we're doing any kind of lateral movement. Giving it to these guys. In eight seconds, we're gonna do that high plank. 
and walk it out every 10. Three, two, one. All right, this is it. The last minute of tonight's workout. Holding on to that high plank as best you can, but 10 seconds just passed, so I gotta walk those things out a little bit. The first step forward with the hands doesn't feel that bad. I'm still feeling pretty confident, but oh gosh, 10 more seconds just passed. So out I go. My hands feel a bit more sweaty. I might be slipping on this mat a little bit. Okay, I'll try not to. Here we go. 10 more seconds just passed. Whew. This is the last 30 seconds of this workout. Keeping everything nice and solid. 10 more seconds. Just passed. So I'm gonna walk it out once more. Here it comes. 10 seconds left in the workout. Let's go. Right until the end. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, 10 minutes of core. Thank goodness it wasn't 11 minutes of core, I'm done. But uh, guys, we're done, we did it together. So thanks so much, as always, for tuning in. Um, you know, if there's something you loved, uh, let me know. And if there's something you didn't love, I don't care, whatever. Just kidding, I do wanna know. <laughs> but uh, you know the deal, drink a lot of water, have a nice cup of coffee if it's the morning, get some protein in you, have a good sleep if it's the evening, and hope to do this again soon. You guys rock. I'm Andrew. Thanks for tuning in to Friendly Fitness. See you next time. Peace.